Hello, I'm Tom Squires and this is my vlog for Destination Tokyo for Team GB. Uh, vlog number two of five. I hope you enjoy what I've been up to this summer. A little bit different, seeing as Olympics isn't happening this year. But um, I hope you can follow my journey to Tokyo 2020. So where are we off Rob and what are we up to? We're going to Silvapana and we're doing the impossible job of packing a van with a little bit too much kit. How much gear have we got in there? Like 10 boards. Lots of oh, and you're built for this Sam. Yeah. Maybe wrapping's not for you, Matt. <laughs> Keep going. All right, here we are doing our drive. We are currently in the Tano Channel. A Tano Channel. Uh, we have got a nine-hour drive in front of us. Andy's doing a face mask. Yep. Oh, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> what, you can get on me if I charcoal on face mask. Yeah. And you're concerned it's going to pull away your touch. And we are going to a foiling European Championships and a open foiling World Championships. When does it start? Uh, Tuesday. It starts Tuesday the 20... something of August. 17th, 17th of August. <laughs> Has not yet got stressful. Well, we did have oat gate. A one minor casualty in the drive, and that was Henry's oats. Yeah, not happy. <laughs> There's so much force. Why? <laughs> all of the oats. It's the same bag. Laptop bag. Is this the return of the vlog? Yeah. I rewatched the Cadiz vlog the other day. Did it? Yeah, big fan. You're the weirdest weirdo I've ever met. <laughs> None of this is 22 hours. <laughs> <laughs> With that, you made me stub my toes so hard. <laughs> you literally crushed my butt. <laughs> As you were being a big animal. No room. No room. I think I'll chuck away Dave for the top 10. Eternity later. I'm competing out in Silver Plana for two reasons. One's a break from my Olympic campaign. Uh, so if, if I'd be sitting at home resting, it gives me a chance to continue to race and windsurf, but with a break from my 2020 campaign, which is quite refreshing and uh, quite exciting and fun, as long as I don't hurt myself or do anything stupid or wear myself out too much. And there's not very many events this year because of COVID. The main difference is big red that we're using out in Silver Plana is 2024 kit and yellow is 2020 Tokyo kit. Big yellow is stuff I'm using for the games this time around, so it's more important. The red stuff is much quicker, much more exciting, much more relevant to the next cycle. Racing in Silver Planner consists of the open foiling worlds, which means anything that can foil within the restraints of the limitations of the kit, which means Olympic boards and non-Olympic boards can race together. And we're just joining in for the fun of it. It's all a bit ahead of the game, but it allows me to practice and have some fun. It's a great practice for the future in Paris 2024. We are just at the Brichetti Van. And this is Silver Plan. Where are we at? Oh, the Brit Tab. 
finished we have been competing in the open worlds which is anybody any man or any woman can use any kit they want we just stayed on the iq4 kit which is the olympic 2024 kit the other guys had a bit of an advantage to change gear when it got windier and less windier uh, but our kit is one design where we always use the same kit uh, but we raced with the big boys and the big kit the brits finished one two and three um uh, as matt barton finished first andy brown second and me third uh, which, which I'm really pleased with. I am so broken <laughs> racing this new class. Uh, I'm starting my depth, but um, I think I'm making the most of it and starting to get control. So I managed to get right away with not breaking any kit, which is probably my priority. But currently eating plain wrap because I'm starving. I have five races. Five races of full power, out of control racing every day for the past four days and then after all that we have to drive home 22 hours on the way home which is pretty mega this place is amazing uh, after Silver Planner we are back on the RSX on the Olympic 2020 kit and making every moment of this extra year count and hopefully get a medal in uh, Olympic windsurfing we're heading towards the only competition left in the calendar which is Villamora European Championships which is to come very soon uh, and hopefully I can cover that in the next vlog. Peace out.